Thank you all very much. Welcome to Emmett's Place in the house and on the airwaves, number 76. Uh, on the drums and the cymbals from Los Angeles, California, that's Mr. Kyle Poole. Oh. On the bass from Tokyo, Japan, by way of Seattle, Washington, and Boston, and now New York City, one of the great bass players of our time, and my brother, that's Mr. Yasushi Nakamura. <laughs> And uh, we have a very special presentation tonight. Uh, we have uh, one, one of my oldest jazz friends. Uh, we met in the Grammy band back when we were 17 years old. Uh, we met a lot of our friends that, that week um, in LA and have been on our, on, on our journeys, meet uh, from time to time on the road. And uh, it's a really a pleasure. He's one of the, the famous internet stars of saxophone, I would say. That sounds wrong. Yeah. <laughs> He said it sounds wrong, but it's so right. <laughs> Please put your hands together for the great Chad Lefkowitz Brown. And playing the trumpet tonight, uh, what can I say? Um, there, are, there, are, there are the maestros and the masters of this music who we all look to and turn to. And I, I said to him, he has one of the most recognizable trumpet sounds, flugelhorn sounds, um, anywhere. You hear it on the radio and everyone knows who it is. And that, to me, is the sign of mastery and the ultimate compliment. Uh, he's one of the greatest trumpet players ever to live, and he's right here in the house with us. Please put your hands together for Mr. Randy Brecker. <laughs>
Okay, well, okay. Well, let's uh, do a little caravan. How about that? That seems to be on list. Hey, welcome everybody. I'm having a ball. I've seen many of these shows, so uh, I'm right at home. <laughs> but I didn't know it was so cozy. This was really cool. <laughs> uh, and I'm used to long saxophone solos. Ah. <laughs> No, that was great. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. So we're going to do a little caravan. You stretch out as much as you want. I, I had a brother who kind of liked to play. So I, you know what I'm saying.
invitation. Well, it's not too bad. It might be a few guys.
That's Chad Lefkowitz Brown, Chad LB on the saxophone, and the great Randy Brecker yeah. on trumpet. Yeah. Yeah. Kyle Poole on the drums, Yasushi, yeah. and Yasushi Nakamura on the bass. Yeah. We, uh, we appreciate all you tuning in. Uh, we want to thank uh, tonight some people that made it, it possible for us to do this and for us to make this economy work. Uh, Max Jazz, my man in Las Vegas, he's opening a club in a couple of months. And I hope we go out and, and play there. It's fine Japanese dining and jazz in Vegas. Kyle's like, I'm ready. <laughs> Kyle, you, Kyle, you a gambler? Uh, me, a sushi art <laughs> I know Yasushi's a gambler. <laughs> so we thank you, Max. Max Jazz. Uh, and also there's a competition by Savage Pro Productions, uh, and it's How I Fell in Love with Jazz. And you have a chance to win $5,000 by making a one-minute video saying how you fell in, fell in love with jazz. Chad, you should do it. I haven't fallen in love with jazz. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, 
<laughs> well, I'm one of the judges, so. Yeah. Well, clearly I'm not going to win. <laughs> you might. Uh, so, yeah, thank you. And also to our, to our specialty drink here, Bimble. Where's Richard? He left. This is his moment. This is uh, our, our sponsor drink, Bimble. Thank you. Um, yeah, you want to slow it down a little bit? Well, let's see. Uh, let's do a little I Can't Get Started, and hopefully I'll get started. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. But uh, we like playing this tune, and like I said, it's just a pleasure for me to be in this swinging atmosphere. It's amazing, quite amazing for me. I'm still in the last century, you know what I mean? So this is all, the whole thing is just amazing.
Andy Brecker. The king. The king. Randy Brecker. It's just great to be here with a living legend. Virtual round of applause for Randy Brecker one more time. I think Emmett handing me the mic was his way of saying that I'm picking the next tune. What do you want to do? Should we do Donna Lee? Pick it up from here. All right, we're going to continue with uh, Donna Lee, which may have been written by Charlie Parker, but speculation says it was actually written by Miles Davis. It could have been. This is either way, this is Donna Lee. Thank you. 
think it's about time for that Chad LB feature. Oh. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. We're going to feature Mr. Lefkowitz Brown. Or LB, you shortened it. People like the romance, Chad, yeah. and the bromance.
talk again <laughs> yeah man man it's an honor truly an honor to be here live at Emmett's place it was really uplifting to see everything happening here during the pandemic Emmett you know keeping everything going here and playing musical beautiful music every week did I say musical beautiful beautiful music every week damn As Emmett said, we've known each other for many, many years. It's funny. I used to hear people say, like, I've known so-and-so for 15 years. And I'd be like, damn, I'm 15 years old. <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, an honor to be here with the great legend, living legend. I've been listening to him for... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been, I've been living, listening to him since I was like, I don't know, 10 years old or something. Man, Randy Brecker, give it up. Yeah. What do you want to do next? Oh, we're going we're gonna to continue with a, a classic by Herbie Hancock. This one's. Herbie, for some reason, wrote all these songs about fruit. Does anybody know why? <laughs> Watermelon Man, Cantaloupe Island, we're going to do Cantaloupe Island. Thank you. 
Thank you all so much. The great Randy Brecker, give it up. We got time for one more. Yeah. So what will it be? Take home of the blues or rhythm changes. So. Well, we want to uh, we want to thank yeah, okay. We want to thank the sponsors one more time, Max Jazz and his new club in Las Vegas. We can't wait to see it. It opens in a couple of months. Uh, there should be some links and stuff uh, forthcoming. So thank you, Max. And we also like to thank Kent Savage and Savage Productions. Don't forget to enter the competition. Uh, it's also in the description. We want to thank Bimble for sending us these fine CBD oh, drinks no. each week. Randy didn't like it, but he said, <laughs> 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 he said he'd hold it, though. <laughs> <laughs> one more time that's Chad Lefkowitz Brown on the saxophone <laughs> Yasushi Nakamura on the bass <laughs> Kyle Poole on the drums okay well uh, this is hard to put into words but you know more cowbell that meme this is something new to me. I mean, I know the meme. I saw the, uh, the show and well, what happened with that skit. And I was just reading yesterday, uh, not yesterday, but last week, uh, a post I get Google alert when my name is in something. And it was the bass player from uh, the group. I can't think of the name of the group now. The, the uh, what was it? Oh, yeah, Blue Oyster Cult. I did a session with him th years ago. Apparently, I played a flugelhorn solo. I happen to be playing and uh, holding one now, and they didn't like it, so they erased it. And somebody replaced it. Their first idea was with a triangle. Ding, 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 ding. Wow. Then somebody came up with the idea, why don't we add a cowbell? More cowbell. More cowbell. That's how it all started. So wow. you can thank me for that one. Yeah. Erased Randy Brecker solo. I thought that was pretty cool. I'm proud of that. I so I would have rather had the solo, honestly. <laughs> Somebody's got it somewhere, maybe. But thank you all for coming once again. This was really incredible for me. Boy, I was kind of sweating it out, but I had a great time, I'll tell you. This was great. Thank you so much. I've met some great people, and thank you for inviting me. You got it. Thank you.